Hello, my name is Sandra Garcia, and I'm currently placed at a first grade class at Dual Language Academy in Seaside. So this particular um, school, it's a bilingual school. Um, I'm in first grade, so it's 90% in Spanish and 10% in English. And as the years go on, they progress more into English. Um, the school is on a ticket um, acceptance, so it is totally random. Um, your ticket gets drawn in, you get a place at DLAMP. Um, it is a TK through eighth, and it's actually very diverse. At one point, it was mainly um, for military students, um, but now it's very diverse and you see a lot of different ethnicities now. Um, so this particular painting is right in front of my class. And as you can see, it is very colorful. There is a lot of things going on. Um, I particularly like it because you could see um, what it appears to be women. So looks like dresses. Um, you can see their shoes. You can see some song notes on the bottom. There's also a shape that's in a fish. We also have different wording. Um, what stuck the most to me is the planet Earth. And we also have two hands um, that appear to be overlapping each other. One of them is holding a flower and the other one seems to be holding. Also on these hands, you can see the bracelets that they have around, um, around, their, around their arm. And you can see different flags. So each bead has a different flag. And that's what I like the most, that it represents all the different countries, no matter the color um race religion anything it's all our flags all the flags so you can see different flags you see our flag here you see just different flags um and it's not just focusing on one specific one either and as well as the planet i feel like overall like everybody is welcomed by this painting um it has a lot of meaning you also see a rainbow on the top and what seems to be across as well on the side um, we also have um, someone on the bottom they're green and you have more people on the other side and you see them with jeans you see them with different types of dresses um, and different skin colors as well so I think that's very important um, and the overall background is purple. It gives it just enough pop that when you're walking by, like it catches your eye and it's very, very pretty and very well put together as well. Um, and I think this brings, um, it represents everybody. So it brings a lot of awareness to the school. This other one, um, I have two pictures of it. So our mascot is the Lobos, Wolves. And this particular painting was painted um, during the summer. And it's on the other side um, of my classroom as well. You can see the students from the summer um, got to incorporate their own drawings in the painting as well. So you can see different ones. Um, you see a lot of the students drew people. They drew small flowers. They drew plants, insects, stars, hearts, um, BFFs. They incorporated themselves into this painting. And we have the California poppy. We have, like I said, insects. We have butterflies. Um, they're drawn differently, each one of them. 
the students incorporated themselves in there. We even have a little deer. Um, so as we're walking out, my students always line up against this wall. And each time we're always talking about the painting, something new, something different. We always see it. Um, I know three of my students got to incorporate their painting in here. So as well. And also these little guys um, are from actually a game as well. So they got to incorporate their game in here. Mm -hmm. we have a duck, we have spiders flowers, bees, part of the game, stars, and it just gets all put together basically with this uh, mural. Um, I didn't take a video or anything like that either, but my school does also have a music class and my particular class goes 30 minutes once a week. We go on Mondays and they are currently practicing for their spring performance. And that is very cool how the school has music incorporated. I know all schools don't do that. Um, I know in my personal um, experience, my middle school, my they didn't include that. My elementary, they didn't have music. Um, so I think it's really cool how this school does um have music incorporated and my co-teacher and I do incorporate art as well, especially for um, holidays, um, any festivities, we like to incorporate it. Um, but we also like to include art once a week and it's usually on Fridays. So that's when we include it. Um, like I said, the school is very um, prideful in their murals. There's also I believe three more murals um, on the school. The other one is of wings, a butterfly of wings, and the students get to go stand up against the wall and they have wings attached to them. So they like doing that, They're like going there, taking pictures. I think it really, um, it really matches the students' um, love for art and it's their interest and they can identify and connect to this. So I think it, the school really does a good job of incorporating it.